standing outside, waiting to come into the show. These guys, I don't know if you can help me with this, but they're doing these things. They're like, you know, West Side, West Side. <laughs> some, some kid with three ears going to Magnum. <laughs> Utah County, you know, I'm, I'm hip, I can, I can do this, so I'm going, hey, I'm from Linden. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not good at all. Anyway, I just learned recently, I really like my car washes to be touchless, because it reminds me of a Utah strip club. <laughs> <laughs> or my last marriage. <laughs> hey, her girlfriend didn't have a problem at all. <laughs> and my ex-wife, yeah, she, uh, Lost over 300 pounds getting this uh, gastric bypass surgery. Unfortunately, it took me a while to figure out 180 of it was me. <laughs> and you know, you know you're kind of large when your waistband is about double your inseam. <laughs> or when you know the maximum weight capacity of your bathroom scale and you've exceeded it. <laughs> also, if the donuts in your car always seek the lowest point, and that seems to be wherever you're sitting. <laughs> anyway, now that I've been single, there have been a lot of, a lot of my friends been setting me up on these blind dates and stuff. I don't know if this ever happened to any of you, but I went into this restaurant and had the woman just turn and just run out on me. Because this, yeah, it was pretty good. It was all because the restaurant we went to didn't accept checks. I had no idea she was Czechoslovakian. <laughs> bad. I went to this, um, one of these uh, seafood restaurants, you know. And they had these little, when I ordered the crab, I was trying to be, you know, impressing my date. So I ordered the crab, and they had this little wet napkin thing that says wet nap on it. Then it hits me, I just spent $50 on dinner. And all I'm going to be stuck with is the short version of a wet dream. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I've come to the conclusion that women in Utah need to stop having children at 35. 36 is just too long. <laughs> and I originally grew up in Southern California. And when I grew up, I learned that you see a man and two or three women. There's probably a pimp out working. When I moved to Utah, I found out it's really a family. <laughs> Before I come over to the show, I thought I'd get some cash, you know, so I get something to eat. I go to the bank out here, and I walk up, and the teller's all, hey, Holmes, you like to withdraw some money? I said, no, really, I just like a loan. Okay. <laughs> anyway, 